the first thing we need to calculate is the sales mix percentage. The iPad division sales are 600,000. We're going to divide that by the total sales of a million to arrive at a 60% sales mix percentage for the iPad division. The iPod division has 400,000 in sales. If we divide that by the total sales of a million, we have the sales mix of 40% for the iPod. All right, the next thing we need to determine is the contribution margin ratio for each division. All right, the contribution margin ratio for the iPad is 30% and the iPod is 35%. Again, you're simply going to take the contribution margin and divide that by sales. All right, the next thing we need to calculate is the company's weighted average contribution margin ratio. And we can come up with, we can calculate this by taking the total contribution margin of 320,000 and dividing that by total sales of a million and you'll get 32%. The alternative is to use the sales mix um, for each division and multiplying that by each division's contribution margin. So if you take the iPad, that 60% sales mix, multiply that by the contribution margin of 30%, add that to the iPod, the iPod's um, a sales mix of 40% multiplied by 35% contribution margin, you'll get a weighted average contribution margin ratio of 32%. The next thing we need to calculate is the company's break-even point in dollars. We're going to take our fixed cost of $120,000, divide that by the weighted average contribution margin ratio of 32%, to arrive at our break-even point in dollars of $375,000. All right, the last thing we need to calculate is the sales level in dollars for each division at the break-even point. We're simply going to take the sales mix and multiply that by the break-even point in dollars. The iPad needs to generate $225,000 of sales and the iPod will generate $150,000 of sales in order for this company to break even.